hi there in this recording i will be showing you about creation of a free aws cloud account going forward we would use the same cloud account to spin off some ec2 instances as well as just play around various aws rds offerings of course we would play around some of the aws's cool features before we start and, and create this free account we need three basic things the first one you need a valid email account i created a gmail account specifically for this cloud purpose second you need a valid credit or debit card to which aws charges some basic amount and of course that will be refunded third you need a valid phone number once you have all three let's proceed with the next steps open aws.amazon.com click on the create aws account oh i forgot to tell you that i might pause at certain screens because i i will be entering some of my personal card details so let me input the email id i created aws ravi49 The creation is very easy we just have to follow step by step and here i need to enter my personal details so i would be pausing my screen once you enter all your details let's say i'm choosing personal account here once you enter all your details check mark this and create account and continue let me pause and enter the details I entered my full name followed by phone number followed by country India and I gave my full address this is the same address it will be used for card billing city I clicked on the checkbox now and I'm clicking on create account and continue. Once you once you click on continue, you would get a payment information tab where you had to enter uh, your card details. So I'm still pausing my screen. So here you will get an option to choose uh, the address you entered in previous screen or you can give a new address and also there is an option to enter the pawn since you are since i am signing up here as an indian so permanent account number for various tax purposes now i'm clicking verify and add This is the step where it, it is going to charge some amount to our card details that whatever you enter once card verification is successful then you would see this screen confirm your identity so this is very important this is where they check our phone number let me pause and enter my phone number
and I'm clicking on contact me then then you would see uh, a pop-up screen like this you would receive a call to your mobile number whatever you specified there once you slowly enter and once the phone voice message confirms that your verification is successful within a fraction of a second or so you would see uh, this kind of a screen on your browser let me say continue once you click on continue you have an option to choose various plans depending upon the mode you choose your plan accordingly but I'm choosing free here if you want you can personalize your experience you can select your role or you can simply say sign into console let me input the email ID that I have used this is also called as a root account there are some user accounts that you create using a functionality called IAM but this is a root account oops I, I gave a wrong email ID it's a four line Once your login is successful, you would be placed on AWS console. If you notice, uh, by default, we were we are placed in Ohio region, US East, and there are a bunch of options or services to choose from. We'll play on this in the next videos by creating or by launching a new virtual mission. For now, uh, thanks for watching this video. Talk to you in the next video.